up on me. He hung up on me. Alright, after editing some of this, I feel like I need to ex explain it before I get into my tirade because it just starts off with me complaining. I ordered some stuff off of Walmart.com. I've ordered it off of Walmart.com plenty of times, no problems. First time ever having stuff go to the store because I needed the stuff or we in the household needed stuff before it could be shipped to the house. It did come to the house maybe sometime next week after the 4th and it showed everything was there on June 30th. So we went to the store and you know everything seems simple in line. You, you know you go to the store, you get tracking numbers. But anyway, here's where everything went wrong. Walmart, your store pickup system sucks fucking balls. Everything on my app, excuse me, everything on my email says everything's ready to pick up. Go to the store. I had my mom go get it because she's going to shopping. And I was editing. She goes to the store. She gives them the order number. She gives them her ID. They come out with some of the stuff. We get home. Half the stuff's missing. Even though, it's, even though it says it's at the store. Because somebody went in the back and couldn't find all the boxes at the goddamn store. Because they're either lazy or because your system is stupid. Why do you have stuff get sent in these boxes? Why don't you just all send it from one location, even if that location is farther away? You know, put it all in one box. Or how about this? When the stuff arrives at a store, why not put it in a shopping cart and put it at the front of the store so it's ready to go? And if the customer doesn't pick it up that day, you bring the cart back into the back warehouse area. Why do you have to go back there and search through a pile of boxes? That's how you miss shit. All right, so today's day two with the Walmart thing. My mom went back to the store and stuff that online it says there, they couldn't find the boxes. So now I'm on hold. It's been on hold for about 10 minutes now, waiting to talk to walmart.com to find out what's going on. So they had some of the stuff there, even though online it says everything's ready for pickup. And then today uh, we went back and they couldn't find the rest of it at the store. So I'm trying to figure out what. Yeah. You you want the order number? So, she says they're supposed to be there, which it says online that they're supposed to be there. So I guess we'll just wait to see what she uh, comes back with after talking to the store. Now I'm waiting 17 minutes again. It says, it says on my uh, thing that certain things are ready to pick up. And we went there yesterday and we went there today. And we got some of the stuff picked up. But the stuff that says ready for pickup, they couldn't find in the back of the store. And what do I, and what do, I do in case I go there and the manager can't find it? Or, you know, what, what, what's the... Right, yeah, but I'm saying is, if I go there and I'm saying that they can't find it, what do I, what do, I do after that? Like, hypothetical. Like, like, yeah, what happens if I go there and they still can't find it? You know, and man, I talk to the manager and he just can't find it. Like, what do I do? Do I call y'all back? You know, what, what's, the, what's the procedure things like that? So, the first lady I spoke to was going to go in the back or have the manager go in the back and check it. Phone call got guess phone call got disconnected. I called and I talked to a dude. He says, Well you need to go over there and talk to the manager. You know, make a big fuss of it. Why do I need to go and make a big fuss of it? I've been to Walmart twice. Alright, well, I went there once, mom went there twice. I went there twice and I have to go back again and make a big fuss of it with the manager to get the stuff that it says in the computer that's there. Why why can't the guy on the phone go and do that? 
Why can't he call and talk to the manager and make sure the stuff is there? Put it aside so we can come and get it. It's just ridiculous. So, I forgot my camera, so. Anyway, camera alert. Anyway, it is 9.40. And it's packed in here. No one's at the help center, so I'm looking for someone now. Oh, there we go. It's my help. Hello. Um, we are told to go to the help desk at, from Walmart.com, but we need to pick up packages. But they said from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's not 10 p.m. yet. No one wanted one that's closed. That's why it's closed down there. I do apologize for the inconvenience. Well, this is our third time coming here to pick up something that says it's been here since yesterday. And Walmart.com said to come here and talk to the store manager. Okay, but this is the manager that's on duty. And you say you came on three times? What yeah, yesterday. On? Well, they y'all gave us some stuff and said the other stuff had come in. We went home and it said everything was here. So we came again this morning. What name is on it? Uh, well, it's, un it's under my account, but my mom's the one picking it up. She's here in the front. What's the name? Cheryl Chesson. So what that? items that you didn't get? Uh, th there's, it says three boxes. One box has dog food, another box has Vienna sausages, and the other box has toilet paper, paper towels, Tide, those little pod things, and something else. I'm drawing Are a blank you fine for all the packages or just the ones that were in? Just the ones y'all gave us yesterday and this today. Oh, I wasn't here yesterday. All right, so I found, all right, so I found an assistant store manager and like a CSR lady in the back in this area, just chilling, hanging out. They told me that customer service had closed, even though online it says 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and we're here well before 10 p.m. So they need to work that out with the online hours or whatever. We just try to come here late before the cutoff time and when they're probably the slow, so that's what we thought, you know, come here when they're slow. But anyway, so someone's in the back looking, since it's our third time here, see if we have our, see if we have stuff. Guess we'll wait and see. So, update on the Walmart situation. Last night, we got the packages. Well, we got one package. But there's still two things that it shows are at the store, ready for pickup. I talked to Walmart.com. They said it's ready for pickup, but the store can't find it. So I call Walmart.com. They say, all right, let me get the store on the phone, and we'll get you an issue, a refund issue. So we call the store while I'm on the phone. She calls the store, and I can hear everything. Talks to the store manager. And you could hear him. He just did not want to have to deal with it. I mean, the way he just answered the phone, he just did not want to do anything. You know, he was like, Mock, yeah, I'm the store manager. And she starts to try to go through the process. And he says you can't issue a refund over the phone. He says that's the policy in all the stores, which is weird that Walmart.com and Walmart stores. So it, it was it was if another company was trying to get Walmart, the store, to do something. It was just so weird that they aren't together as one company. It was like, you know, just they're, they're butting heads. Which just shows you how great Walmart's corporate structure, I guess, is. Um, but he says he can't do it over the phone. He says I have to come into the store. And she, she, she apologized at the end, says different stores are operated different ways, and usually they do it over the phone. Basically, I have to go back to the store to get a refund. Now, these two items total are, is about seven bucks. So I have to drive back to Walmart and, you know, stand in line for probably 20 minutes, go through the whole motions of trying to get a refund, and then to get just to get my seven dollars back, it, it's just ridiculous. I, I don't feel like going to Walmart. It's Fourth of July weekend. I don't feel like go. I'm, I'm going to be going out today, but I don't want to go to Walmart. I don't want to go stand in line at Walmart f for seven dollars. I just want to be done and over with. It's, it's just ridiculous that the, the the headache this has caused. I just don't understand. I. I just don't understand the, this 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 whole thing. It's just, uh, and we've gone to Walmart three times already, three times, 
three trips to Walmart, and I have to make a fourth trip to get my seven dollars back. It's just, it's just. Is Walmart going to reimburse me for all the trips I had to make? Or my mom had to make, I should say, because she was the one who made every three of the trips. I've driven, I've driven one of the trips. But is, are they going to refund us for the gas we had to spend to go to the closest Walmart? You know, and the time we had to spend, like, we're looking at like an hour of our life that has been spent trying to get our stuff from Walmart. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I don't, I, it's just, anyway. I'm not going to Walmart anytime soon. When I do, I'll make it part of a vlog. But till till then, just Walmart store pickup system is just fucked up. That's that's the only way I can describe it. I should have just had everything shipped to the to the house and wait and wait it an extra week for the stuff to get shipped to the house instead of trying to do something like store pickup. I've used Best Buy store pickup. It works good. This sucks. So bad. Anyway, that's it.